Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Today we'll have a short discussion about aviation load factors, another knowledge requirement for both the basic and advanced Canadian RPAS pilot exams. Load factor is the ratio between the lift of an aircraft and its weight and represents a measure of stress on the structure of the aircraft and anybody on board. Because it's a ratio, it's actually dimensionless, but is traditionally measured as g-force, since in many ways the effect is similar to the force of gravity. In straight and level flight, the lift and weight balance exactly, so the load factor is 1.0. If you increase the lift by, say, adjusting the angle of attack of the wings and start to climb, clearly the lift is greater than the weight, so the load factor is greater than 1. And, if the aircraft descends, the load factor becomes less than 1. Hey, it's even minus 1 if the aircraft is upside down. Similarly, if the aircraft banks in a turn, the load factor increases. The weight of the aircraft, of course, stays the same, downwards, but the lift force of the wings must also counteract the centrifugal force on the aircraft pulling it outwards in the curve, just like the centrifugal force pulling outwards on this camera as it spins around. The string holding it is analogous to the lift force on the aircraft. In fact, the aircraft's lift balances the vector sum of the weight and centrifugal force. If the bank is 45 degrees, the load factor is about 1.4 g. With a steeper 60 degree bank, the load factor is 2g. Wind gusts and turbulence can also create temporary load factor increases and decreases. Think about the feeling of weightlessness when an aircraft hits an air pocket. That's the load factor going to zero. So aside from a fun ride, what's the impact of load factor on aircraft? Well, firstly, since increased lift is required to perform these climbs and banks, then there will be more power required to overcome drag, so your engines will need to be designed to meet expected load factors. And second, the structural strength of the aircraft, wings, stabilizers, and fuselage, must be designed to withstand the anticipated forces. In addition, as the load factor increases, the stall speed also increases. In other words, a stall becomes more likely. Obviously, there's a tricky balance here between strength, power, maneuverability, and performance. Aeronautical engineers to the rescue. Well, there we have it. The load factor is the ratio of lift to weight in an aircraft determined by the maneuvers and forces acting on the plane. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so, and hit that bell for notification of future videos. Thanks for watching.